everyone so far we understood how to do the web scrapping in python using beautiful soup and we enjoyed it scrapping the tables from web page and next pages and all the elements from our uh, ecom page right now the next thing which we're going to learn about is selenium right now what selenium is selenium is a comprehensive module which provides you all the functions using which we generally do the automation work web browser automation or testing kind of stuff we use it generally for right but here we're gonna use all these feature for we're gonna learn to use all these features for web scrapping purpose right now the next question comes in why do we even need to do that so to explain this thing let me give you a exact let me give you an example uh, using a demo right so for example if you have to check out the prices of wristwatch so what we're gonna do is you're gonna go to amazon and in amazon in the search box you will go and you will type wrist watches right i have already searched that and here you will get the list of all the wrist watches now let's say if you have to you know put this in um, you have to get the list of let's say 5 10 wrist watches so you will be doing copy paste and all so that's quite a tedious thing but let me show you a script i have written a script just right over here now i will just run this script and what will happen is like you can see i don't have the amazon open i will close this particular uh, chrome page as well right now i have selected this particular script and i am going to execute this the moment i execute it it will automatically open chrome and then it will go to the amazon and in the search box it's gonna type wrist watch and then it will just search for it right and here we got that particular list right and once it uh, now it is doing this scrapping of all the wrist watches right which you can of course not see now just you saw that after doing this scrapping it closes that and it has just give, put that into excel file which you can see right over here right and we we got list of all this uh, all the wrist pay, uh, wrist watches which were available on that page and their prices okay now i didn't do anything manually everything was done automatically trust me right everything is available in excel so this kind of support we can get from selenium by using this selenium right even more than that using selenium what we can do is we can log into certain web page right we can you know extract all the post on social media from uh, individual or uh, any individual celebrity or politician right further we can do this sentiment analysis on that all those stuff right all right so this is this is too much of you know logic and theory now next what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with selenium all right so now here i am all together in a new script page and what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how you can do the setup of selenium first so first thing which you're gonna do is you're gonna install it right pip install selenium just this right you need to do this and select this and run this because i have already installed it so i'm not going to install it and in this uh, part we will be we will be you know using chrome so for that we would require to make a driver for that and uh, you know use our location into that to open any particular website now let me show you that with the help of an example right so first what we're gonna do is import because here we are done with uh, you know installing the selenium now we will import it let's import this it is imported now after that out of this selenium selenium has many sub modules right so we're gonna use some specific ones so from selenium i will import web driver i can import web driver all right so this is a shortcoming with this thing right so just bear with this now we will just run this and it is also imported over here now that we are done with you know importing the web driver next thing which we're gonna do over here is we're gonna create a driver object so for that first thing first which we need to do is we need to have the chrome driver installed how can we download and install the chrome driver for that you need you can use this link i will be providing that into the description section let's first go to the chrome 
and let's see what is the version that i have in my machine so all that you need to do is go over here and then in the help go on about google chrome and from here you can see the version of it i have 103 so what i'll do is i'll go on this particular link you i will provide this link in the description you can use that and from here you can locate the 103 version which i have right over here just click this and you'll come over here whatever your operating system is accordingly you can choose one mine is windows so i'm just going to click this you it, it is fine even if you have 64 bit machine this will work right now once this is downloaded what i will do is i'm just going to i will just cancel this particular thing first this particular pop-up i will just close it now i am going to go in downloads over here right over here okay and here i have that now if you don't if you don't have winjip uh application so to extract that what you can do is just right click and go in windows explorer over here open this and then from here what you can do is you can just copy this i will do this right i'm doing this now after this what i'll go i'll do in c drive i'll recommend you also do the same thing in program files and i have created a folder which is called driver but that's not important here i already have pasted the downloaded and pasted the chrome driver so i will not do it now you see over here chrome driver 103 103 is something which i have included in because i already had another version installed oh, sorry uh, downloaded over here right so don't worry about it you can give the name whatever you want all that you require is put it correctly in the script okay now that we are done with downloading it what we're gonna do is let's get back to the spider over here and in our script here i will be creating a path for this and in that what i do is this one and then i will go just right over here i'll copy the executable file name sorry i'll copy this file name come back over here and put it because this is exe file so i manually need to type exe now once this is done the next thing which we need to do is we need to create a driver right so for that we're going to use web driver this one and then out of that the driver which we want to use is chrome and in that we need to put a put the location or the path where we have the driver downloaded so that is stored in path so i'm just going to copy this from here and i will put it over here now this will create uh, this will open uh, this will create the driver and open chrome so i will store it in an object which is called driver and now once this is created in driver we will be using so this will simply open the chrome now once the chrome is opened what we want to do is we want to go to amazon how can we do that so for that what we need to do is we need to use get method right driver dot get and inside that you can put the url of the website whatever you want to open right so here we want to open amazon so i'm just going to say uh, https colon slash slash www dot amazon dot in right so because i'm in india so it will be amazon dot in uh, though i can use amazon dot com also but i prefer to use amazon dot in you can use whatever you want right so this will open the amazon page now let's try to execute this all right now i will just do this it will automatically open the chrome and then it will go to the amazon right so like you can see like you can see it just opened the amazon now i'm not going to close it manually what next we gonna do is we gonna like you can see over here it has this title right so we you know we can print this title as well how can we do that so simply you need to say because you are done with creating a object an object so all that you need to do is just print this you can uh, you can perform the task whatever you want on this particular you know driver so i will say just print and in the bracket so i will just execute this and in some time you will see that is printed over here let me just execute this well now you can see here it says online shopping site in india etc etc and all right now that we are done with this thing so what i will do is i'll just close this so to close the web drive uh, so, sorry just let me just do this thing driver oops bear with my spelling error driver oops 
dot quit okay driver dot quit and then we can uh, just execute this select this and then just execute this now that amazon page is closed you see amazon page is closed so this is it for now in this video as we progress we will learn much more in the next video we will see how can we interact with the different elements of web pages happy learning wish you very all the